What's up, everybody? Welcome to Horror Reviews. I'm about to watch the official teaser trailer for Smile 2. It is only a teaser trailer. It's only 2 minutes and 13 seconds long. I wish it was an official trailer, but everyone's been talking about this and posting about it on Instagram, and my friend texted me and told me to watch it, so I'm going to watch it. I was pleasantly surprised by the first Smile. I really enjoyed it. I know a lot of people were like maybe hit and miss with it, but I really enjoyed it. I thought it was really good. Um, so I'm very excited to see what this is going to be like. And if I remember correctly, Smile was the director's first film. So this is his sequel follow-up. So hopefully it's not a case of sequelitis going on here. Um, but let's check it out. There's this trap. Got the wrong movie. Okay, so I notice 36 seconds and I notice already like I now I remember the first one had like really interesting color palette, um, very interesting uses, use of different colors, pinks. I remember the pinks and like the teal blues and things like that. Really interesting use of colors. So this one seems like it's keeping the same concept. Like there's the blues, the blue of the and the pink of the bunny at the ears and the squirt gun over here and the color balls and stuff. So um, very interesting use of color. Hello? Sky! What? No, no, what? no, get away from me! What? What is it? Get away from me! Lewis? Yeah, well, that shot is cool. Something really crazy is happening to me. Oh my gosh, that's such a cool shot. I keep seeing this face everywhere. You witnessed a death. Now it's latched onto you. Okay, that's cool. That's that's a pretty cool shirt you got. Want me to sign it? October eighteenth. Take that felt uh, more like a trailer actually than a teaser trailer that was it gave us a lot um and i was so really happy that that when the guy's running out of the room that was not a fake scare i thought for a second it was going to be like a fake scare it was not very happy that it wasn't the lead actress here i don't know who she is i don't know her name i probably should she looks really good um looks like a great performance from her naomi scott the actress i guess she looks like she's really good and everyone else also like that. I'm really happy that they're doing the, you know, still just like real actors smiling. It, it's a little cheesy, but like not really at the same time. It's just like, I think maybe the parts where they're like walking past somebody and they're smiling. That's a little like, uh, but I remember it working really well in the first film and it works well in this trailer for the most part. Little girl at the end is creepy and cool. Um, very interesting decision to make it like a pop star and yeah it's like someone who's like really famous in the public eye it's a very interesting concept to do looks like there's a bigger budget here i like the way it's shot looks really cool it does feel like it's missing a little bit of that like neon colored flare or i shouldn't say neon color because it wasn't neon it's just like it's missing a little bit of that like color palette flare to it like there's pieces of it but it feels like it's more polished and it's missing a little bit of that unique 
color palette and schemes that that the first one had um but yeah no it looks really i mean it looks really good so i'm excited for that october heck yeah that is awesome another um sequel to look forward to i was already looking forward to the sequel honestly i wasn't expecting a trailer to drop already so dang we got some uh good movies so let me know what you guys think down below if you watched the trailer and what do you think of the first smile uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Appreciate it. I'm money scared. I'm a big bad wolf. I never see the silver line and only see the gold. I don't speak in caps, though. Everything bold. And I put that on myself because it's a life that I done chose. I said, come through. You can see me on the west side. Now it's funny how they walk in.